All righty, folks, we are back from Think Media's Grow With Video. Just completed three days, had over 25 pages of notes, and I want to give you the best of the best highlights, folks. I spent the last couple of hours taking 25 pages of notes and getting it down to what was the most important. What I'm going to do in this video here is hopefully help you understand how you, either a brand new or, or a growing content creator, can take these pearls of wisdom and hopefully move forward. I can't recommend Think Media or Growth Video uh, more. Uh, if you get the opportunity to go in the future, I strongly, strongly suggest it. So folks, I'm going to give you my takeaways. Some of these are going to be highlighting weaknesses of mine. Uh, I'm always going to give you the, the truth. Uh, I found lots of opportunities to grow and improve. And frankly, it's probably what should happen. So here we go. The first one happened day one opening session. It uh, It talks about dreaming big. What is waiting for you on the other side is one bold move. Now, I've told you many times that I don't really have this capacity. I don't live in the dreaming big world. Uh, but let me break down there as was four things, four ways to win. And again, I think you will see very clearly where I fell down. So the first one, how to win. Outwork everyone. Number two, out learn. Number three, out strategize. And finally, out last. Yes, folks, all four of those are key ways to win. But if you know anything about me and my channel, I clearly stopped at number one. It's just where I am comfortable. I am comfortable doing the work and moving forward. I have not paid for education. I have not paid for really help. Um, you know, these are things uh, that are obviously a weakness of mine. I certainly could have grown faster should I have gotten help earlier. Uh, you know, doing 13,000 videos without getting any coaching. Not a great idea. Not a great idea. I'll strategize again, a weakness of mine. I completely do what I do every morning. I read the news, I summarize and move on. Uh, I haven't researched topics, right? I haven't gone to the YouTube algorithm and tried to figure out what people are looking for. It's just, I wake up, I do what we do. I take a key, key concept or question with one of my millionaires and we move on. I think there are ways we could have strategized topics better. There are things that I could certainly do better and frankly have not. And then the last one, Outlast, I certainly think this one I do as well. So maybe I do number one and number four, right? I can show up, I could work, and I'm not going anywhere until the mission is accomplished. But again, only executing two of these four, I could have done better. Frankly, we'll need to do better, need to need to learn, get, get around other folks, uh, need to strategize. So um, again, take that for what it's worth. Uh, I could have done more, could have, could be better if I tackled all four of those. Next up, protect your mindset. I think we all know that, but I'm glad it was covered. Uh, what you look for, you find. And this is particularly important in a world where doom sells. A sale, sells, sells, doom sells, meaning that negativity gets clicks. So I think you've seen on my channel, the thumbnails and whatnot are intended to get that click, but we will never change our message. On this channel, we believe that doing the work works. On this channel, we believe in hope. We ho we believe in leaning forward and seeing opportunity. Uh, but that said, the package, the thumbnail is the gift. And if they don't open the gift, they're not going to get the information. And that's what we are trying to do here. Something else I noted down is we have an authenticity. Authenticity is the new currency. So hopefully something you've seen over the years and will continue to see over the years on this channel is I am authentic. Warts and all. Make mistakes all the time. In fact, we have a shirt that says swing and a miss. We also celebrate the victories and we have a shirt called nailed it. But that's just to have fun. I like to lean forward. I like to make predictions. And sometimes we're right. Sometimes we're wrong. I also heard on a podcast while doing the event that there is a trust recession. I thought that was very interesting, folks. There's a lot of scammers. There's a lot of people producing you know, doom porn just to get clicks that are, frankly, buying houses. I actually think that's pretty disgusting. You talk about housing crash, and then you take all that ad money and go buy a house. That's 
that's pretty rotten of you, but hey, whatever. Uh, we also learned about the seven R's uh, that Think Media goes through. This, is, again, is a framework, a methodology, a plan uh, that certainly would have helped me. Uh, it's something that, uh, again, I was just, I am just doing. Uh, but again, these are things that if you're getting started and you don't have the the mental fortitude to just keep going for five years and 13,000 videos, I highly, highly recommend you get around someone uh, like Think Media and their framework. Just really quick, what is the seven R's? Reverse engineer, research, record, release, rocket, review, and then of course, repurpose and repeat. Of course, that is very high level stuff. I will let the Think Media team and whatnot go deeper on each of those. If you if you really want to get started and understand the framework, they are uh, there for you. Uh, who are you creating content for? Again, I think that is such an easy question that we sometimes miss. So who am I creating content for? I'm creating content for that busy professional uh, who is, has a very busy life, who wants to understand the economy, wants to make better financial decisions, may want to buy a home, may want to buy an investment home. I am here as someone that is always going to be talking about what I've done. So what have I done that might interest my followers? One is we built up a real estate portfolio over 15 years and retired. In fact, we replaced two six-figure incomes. I think that's why a lot of people follow me in the beginning. Lately, we've been building this brand one rental at a time over five years by accident, social media, courses, events, and maybe some of you are looking to build a brand. In fact, I've recommended that Gen X and Baby Boomers take their side hustle, take their passion, take their hobby, and do what I have done. I think if you do it, you build it slowly while employed, you can have a second season that you are so happy with, so thrilled with. So again, some folks are following me for that. Next up, what problem do you solve? What problem do you solve? So again, what I think I solve is hopefully it stays this way. Hopefully it's been this way is I just report the facts. I don't lean left or right or red or blue. Uh, I just talk about the data, the good and the bad. I don't, I don't take every metric and spin it into the worst case scenario. I don't take every metric and turn it into the best case scenario. I don't assume the government's lying to me. I don't assume they're telling the truth. It's just the facts put together on a daily basis. We all get a little better. It is really hard to uh, collect all of this. And that is something I've been doing for 30 years and, and hopefully I am good at it. The next thing was very important to me. It's just three little letters, VFM. A lot of people get into social media, building a brand and they want to just spike off, grow millions of views, Mr. Beast level. Folks, it doesn't work that way. In fact, for me, it's never worked that way. I've got 13,000 videos and none of them went viral. But that's where VFM comes in. It's a concept that is so elegant, so simple, but yet so powerful. And that is, what is viral for me? So if your videos usually get 50 views and suddenly you find one that gets 500, that is viral for you. Celebrate those moments. Don't get upset that you got 500 views and didn't get 5,000 or 50,000. Folks, celebrate what is viral for you. Again, VFM, viral for me. Next up, again, going through what is working on YouTube today because it is always changing. Uh, I got a couple of little tidbits to give you. Uh, one of the things that was taken away during one of the conversations is try shorter titles. Folks, you've been following my channel for any length of time. You know I had the daily financial news. And something I've done over the years is I've used every character. I've used every character, and uh, that could be a mistake. What if we just went in and we took the first topic of the daily financial news and just made that the title? So again, I'm going to give that a shot. I'm going to try that. Again, shorter titles, seven words or less. Think about that. Next up, get a Jedi Council. This is something that I, man, I think I've talked about it before. I spend too much time in the do it mode. I need to seek out others. And again, I'm not saying seek out and paying for stuff. I know a lot of folks don't have that, but hey, you know, get around others that are doing it. We with you know, there was a story about Mr. Beast share that I've shared as well. Mr. Beast back in the beginning, 
he got around three or four other content creators and got together for a thousand days in a row. Folks, if you don't know what that means, that means almost three years. They met every day trying to get 1% better. And if you compound that over and over and over again, you will get somewhere. You got to get your own Jedi counsel. This is something that's very important. It doesn't have to be paid. It just has to be consistent. You have to keep moving forward and be both get better yourself and have people around you get better. Next up was this Harvard study that I've heard so many times, but I'm glad it was mentioned. Folks, you've probably heard by now, show me your network, I'll show you your net worth. There's actually a study. It's the largest study done uh, done by Harvard uh, studying success. I hope you hear this. 95% of your success is your network. If you want to get fit, do you want to be around five fat people and unhealthy people or five fit people? If you are fat, unhealthy, and you get around and have your friends be fit, there's a 95% chance you will be fit. Do you want to be a millionaire and you're around your broke-ass friends smoking drugs and watching Netflix? Well, you're not, you're not going to get there. But if you're around five millionaires and they're talking money and economy and things of that nature, again, there's a 95% chance that you will become a millionaire. Folks, if that doesn't get you to move, I don't know what will. Next up, uh, we had a presentation from a, a, a young man that I had not heard of, and I am embarrassed to say it. He is a ball of energy, doing amazing things, has a monster YouTube channel that has that talks about something, frankly, I have zero interest in, but he made it fun. He made it exciting. Folks, if you have not followed Pat Flynn, or Deep Pocket Monster, do yourself a favor, check him out, Deep Pocket Monster on YouTube. I promise you, you will smile. You will have fun. He tells amazing stories. Um, he does. He just gets you all revved up and excited, and he takes you through these different challenges. And Pat Flynn, for me to you, you're amazing. Uh, just keep having fun. Keep changing lives. Keep Keep putting smiles on people's faces. Uh, Pat Flynn, uh, you are amazing. Next up, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. I'm sorry, strike that. That's not what they said. Ah, try that again. Here we go. Sometimes you win, sometimes you learn. Now, folks, I don't edit videos, so hey, we're just going to have that mistake there, but that's just who I am. So again, sometimes you win, and sometimes you learn. Next up, uh, Amazon affiliate links. Folks, you know that on my channel, I do this goal series. And one of the things I'm trying to do is grow my Amazon uh, referral links, right? Books, games, things of that nature, stuff that I use. And it's just very clear that I should be doing that. In fact, folks, did you know that we do, I have an Audible link below that if you click on, I still believe you get a free Audible book if you sign up using the link. You could get one rental at a time or 15 conversations with real estate millionaires. You can check out the link below. But you know what? If I really want to grow that, I should create a video a week. I should have one video talking about something that I use, I recommend that's changed my life or maybe something I haven't used or I didn't like. All right. That, I don't know. It's just, hey, if you're going to have it as a goal, stupid, I'm of course talking to myself when I say that, uh, I should. I should do a video on it, not just hope magic happens. That's that's just silly. These are things that are reasons that I should have, I should get my own Jedi counsel and and really, really get around others really doing this instead of just leaning in, doing the work and moving on. Number two, make the customer the hero. And hopefully that is something I've done, but I need to be purposeful. I can only show you what's worked for me and hopefully encourage you to do it yourself, do the work, do these, you know, seven ORAT rules, get focused, daily discipline, grow your network, all of that. But I want you to win. We, we send out cards, right? The golden tickets, the black cards to celebrate others. Um, hopefully I am making you feel like the hero in your own story. I can't be the hero for you, but hopefully I can show you that you can be the hero for yourself. So hopefully that's working. Then we had perhaps the most impressive main, um, keynote I have ever seen. 
So if you don't know my background, I was in corporate sales for a long time, which means I got keynotes from everybody. I got a keynote presentation from Dave Ramsey. Now, folks, if you've been on my channel any length of time, I don't think it's a secret. Dave Ramsey and I agree on 90% of things, but we strongly disagree on 10%. So I could have gone into that keynote presentation with that orientation and just thought about what we disagreed on. But thankfully, I did not. I went in with a complete open mind and was blown away. I don't know if the Think Media team and Sean will share that keynote presentation publicly. I hope he will someday. But it, it was awesome. And let me give you just two things for you to take away. One, stay on mission, stay on message. We're not taking polls. We're not letting the trolls under the bridge dictate what we're doing. If you have a mission and a passion, stay on mission. Now, that's something that is very easy to me, but it is great to hear from a legend like Dave Ramsey. Think about it. Dave Ramsey's message, the framework that Dave Ramsey has talked about for 40 years, really hasn't changed all that much. Think about that. Hasn't changed with the winds of time. Hasn't let this or that trend get in his way. He is who he is, and he is his authentic self. Next, this one, this one thing out of all the notes, and we're almost done, was the one thing that for me was life-changing. So here it is. Dave Ramsey's on stage. He's talking about all these millions of books and billions of views and all of this. And he's like, did you guys know that 90% of the things that we try at Ramsey Solutions don't work? 90% don't work. And then he went on to say, everybody knows us for the 10%, the 10% that did work. So think about that. Somebody who has a top three podcast, who's one of the largest content creators on the planet, certainly been doing it for the longest. His longevity is amazing. 90% of the things he tries don't work. Think about that. That is wild. So again, when you are starting out, you're going to have a lot of misses. Keep going. And don't forget the point before that. Stay on message. Folks, I am strongly believe that all these doomers and doom porn and crash bros, their story is getting tired and long in the tooth. It is my hope. It is my, frankly, my belief that these charlatans, these idiots, these clowns will disappear because they're not relevant. They're wrong. They're pacing hook bait. It's their, their, their audience will eventually go broke or they will just turn them off and do something. So again, one more time for the most important line, 90% of the things we tried did not work. Keep going forward. There was a closing on day three, Charlene Johnson, just a ball of energy and just someone so fun to watch. Uh, she has talked about how she uses a tool or technology called ManyChat to tie her Instagram with her YouTube uh, so again, just some simple tweaks that I should do. I think I have like 25,000 followers on Instagram and almost 60,000 on YouTube. There's a way I can merge those two, which I um, had no idea. Uh, so there's a technology called mini chat that she strongly recommends. And I actually did a test today on Instagram. You can go to my page one rental at a time. I did a reel talking about the daily financial news. And in that reel, I put a, I asked for a comment. And uh, if you do me a favor, you're watching this, go to my Instagram page, find that reel. It's just talking about the daily financial news. If you can watch that, it's like 37 seconds and then comment the word. I want to see if this technology works. So if you could do me that favor, you're still watching this, go to my Instagram feed, one rental at a time and uh, watch the 30 second reel and put in the keyword. Let's see what happens. At the end of the day, folks, the last thing that Charlene Johnson left with all of us that I think I want to close with is don't, don't sacrifice your life 
for a couple of dollars. Folks, we only have so much time. Don't sacrifice your life chasing a couple of dollars. There is life. There's so many things to do. Charlene shared stories about basically putting different business lines on Simmer because she wanted to travel with her husband and do all of these amazing things and help all of these folks. So again, that was my one page. Look at that. One page of notes, nothing on the back. Those are my key takeaways. I actually have 25 pages, like 25 and a half pages of notes. I got that all that down to this. Uh, again, if you ever have a chance to go uh, to think media or grow with video, you should. It is uh, every session was great. The hot seats, the people, the audience were amazing. It was um, something that I won't forget. And I have work to do. So need I need a Jedi Council. Uh, I need to, to challenge myself to get educated and learn. Uh, I need to get some strategies. Again, I go back to the beginning. I can clearly outwork people, and I will outlast. But I, I need to learn. I need to strategize. It's it's good and all to keep going forward. But what if I did a couple of little tweaks and we could help more people? That's what I want you to think. That's that's my takeaway. Is how can I help more people? Is there a technology solution like ManyChat that can get people to watch the daily financial news? Maybe. Are there other creators that could look at my thumbnails or this or that and say, hey, try this? What about strategies? Man, I, it's embarrassing. I've never tried to use YouTube's search bar to figure out topics. I, I need to be better and that's good. So I learned. I had fun. And um, yeah, I look forward to the next one. Uh, Sean, the entire Think Media team, frankly, the entire team's amazing. Guys, take care of yourself. Have fun. Later.